Hey guys, so, so today you and I are going to talk about knowing JavaScript. So let's get into it. So the question in question was posted on a really old video I made and it's called how do I know if you are a good front-end developer and in that video and it's been so many times now somebody says that I've, I make the claim that I spoke to in an interview a while back uh, many years ago now with a senior level front-end developer or so he claimed and then I started asking him some basic questions an example would have been what is prototypical inheritance. He had never even heard about the term and so I basically said okay immediately when I said that I know that this is not a senior level software developer. So the question is Frederick when you said he couldn't explain prototypical inheritance and that he didn't know JavaScript at all would you still judge it like that in 2022? Is that an saturation caused by uh, caused by that he was presenting himself as a senior. I am a fresh junior, I know only very basic stuff about it and I don't know if I should focus more on improving my skills in let's say more advanced TypeScript or the underlying mechanic, uh, mechanics of JavaScript. So this is, it seems to me that I owe the world of uh, programming and IT this favor. So I'll try to explain this as best as I can. Guys, when you have been working for a few years, you have learned certain things about the languages that you work in and the industry that you find yourself in. And when it's time for you to assess the skill level and hire new people to the company for a role, there are going to be certain requirements on seniority. So if a junior is looking for a job, you might ask certain questions and a mid-level and all the way up to a senior level. You will have different interviewing processes and different things that you are going to look for in order to determine if this person is a senior or not. Now, when I say that they didn't know JavaScript at all, that doesn't necessarily mean that the, it, that prototypical inheritance is, well, you don't know that thing, therefore you don't know anything about JavaScript. It is a figure of expression that I applied in order to express, as the, you, this person was touching on, that this person is claiming that they are a senior level software developer. Now this is not necessarily the only question that I post to this person, which a few other people as usually is because you see me say this thing in a like in a fraction of uh, a few, like just a few seconds I express this thing and you'd believe that for some reason you were there like this was the only question I asked no this was just the thing that stuck with me at that exact moment when I recorded that video that's all I asked a whole bunch of questions and all of them make up my understanding of how well does this person know JavaScript or so it doesn't matter what it is, right? This is in fact how every single technical interview works. Did you know that? That's why you have the technical interview, that's why they ask you questions and it's completely subjective based on that person who's doing the interviews understanding of what does seniority look like? And I've done this th for years with all kinds of questions. I can ask, if I ask a senior level software developer, can you tell me what a media query is? And they can't, that's not a senior level software developer, in my opinion, if you were talking about front end. If I ask uh, a back end, uh, back end senior, can you explain to me what inheritance is? Or how the MVC pattern works? or how unit testing and mocking works and they don't know that that's not a senior either because these are basics these are absolute basics of the profession that you need to have in order to work or rather you will have done this to some extent if you have been up to date and working in large-scale software development these are givens for the vast majority of software companies that you should understand these sorts of things. And so when someone doesn't get those basics, they can swing around the term senior all they want. But to me, they're not a senior. And I don't care how many years they have been working. 
and I have interviewed guys, people who have quote unquote 20 years of experience, they're supposed to be team leads, etc, etc, and I can ask them like a like a simple thing, can you explain to me what a promise is? How does async away works? How does it work? Etc, etc, like the, the or like these are basic questions that are included in your onboarding to JavaScript courses. It's not at the level that what is a variable, but it is at the at the same sort of range of knowledge. These are things that a true master of the language or whatever you have should pretty much have an understanding of. I'm not saying that that's always the case because, as I said, my opinion may not necessarily be the gold standard for what a senior is, but I know from working with enough quote-unquote seniors what it looks like when a senior starts working and when someone who is not really all that comfortable doing professional-grade software development is going to start getting their hands dirty and I know what the end results looks like. So I know, based on my own experience, roughly the search of questions that I should ask in order to figure out does this person speak the same language as the people who really know their craft or like do this person have, do they actually have the exposure that they need to the uh, to the field or to the, this role in order to do really really well. That doesn't mean that you, if you are a junior you don't know what prototypical inheritance is, that you don't know JavaScript. Well, sure you can make that argument for, but you can make that argument for anything. It's a it's a way for me to exp explain to you that when you swing the term senior, at least with me, I expect you to know the sorts of things that you will need to know in order to actually work with this language in more than one framework or more than one way or one specific set of circumstances or where you don't really know how to do certain things and I know that basically that you have no hope of figuring out how to fix this problem because you don't have enough uh, experience working in a specific stack or a specific language to figure out on your own how to fix certain problems. Like a classic one, I'll tell you this, I'll give you this one for free. Do you have any idea how many quote-unquote front-end developers who don't have one fucking clue how Webpack works? Not the one. To this day, I've interviewed over at least a hundred people, and I can count on my five fingers the people who can explain to me what Webpack actually does and how it works. So, what I want you to take away from this is that no, you don't have to worry that I will judge. I will say that, yeah, it doesn't matter. This video, you can go and watch it if you want to. It's a million years old. Well, not a million, but it's old. Uh, I will still judge you the same way. I might not specifically ask about prototypical inheritance here. I might ask, as I said, about all kinds of different topics that I know are relevant and I know that someone who has been working in a serious manner for years should have at least a basic understanding of. The reason why I know that is because I talk to some of the best in the industry when I work and then I will talk to other people who are just doing a job, like the people who sort of, you know, like their mid-levels or juniors and so forth. And I know what the juniors usually know. And I know what the mid-levels usually know. And I know what most of the seniors, well, the real seniors, usually know. And you see that when you know what the output of these people are, when you see a real senior working, you see that their code levels and like the, thing, the way they think and the way that they produce results is at a much higher level than the other quote-unquote seniors that, in my opinion, are just mid-levels, etc., and juniors. And I know what I need to help them with, and I know what the seniors don't need help with. So that means that if I can ask them questions that are relevant to that sort of level where I know that these are some more advanced topics. If they don't know that stuff and they struggle even with some of the basics, that's probably not a senior. At least they're not, not in my opinion. And I don't care, as I've said before, guys. And nobody really does. It's just that the industry is ignorant of what a real senior looks like. So they go on years. So your friends who have five years and like they throw away, you throw around senior, sure, go for it. Nobody's going to question you until you start working with someone who is a real senior or you start trying to go into a company where they actually know how to test if you actually have true seniority. 
But for a junior level software developer, you don't have to worry that you have to know these more advanced underlying topics, like because we can go into all kinds of depths about, you know, the event loop if we're talking about JavaScript or even more things than that. And so, so the goal isn't to fail you. The goal is to assess whether or not we should pay you a senior level salary because we've ha I've worked in companies where they do and they give that to a person who can't even help the juniors with their problems and this is just money thrown out the window because this person doesn't know enough to hold that sort of role they might have been able to work as something else like a mid-level or a junior etc etc but not at the sort of uh, level that we're talking about and that's what you should think about when you are studying to become a software developer your goal should not be to worry that oh there is like this magical question somewhere, like magical concept that if I don't know that I'm not a real software developer, I can't possibly know this language. That's not what it's about, guys. It's about continuous learning. That's what it's about. You should continue your education and try to learn it. You start by focusing on just being able to deliver software. And then when you know how to do that, you get into more theory, maybe. Or maybe you go into like the nitty-gritty details, etc., etc. By the time you are calling yourself a senior, you should have a pretty fair understanding of most things related to your area. That's all this means. That's what these questions are about. There's no magic silver bullet question that is going to tell me if you're a junior or a senior or a mid-level or something like that. I ask a bunch of questions and then you make an assessment. And that is what every single interviewer in your entire history of has done and what every future interviewer is going to try to do. Have a great day.